Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Trillium Brewing. Uh, these guys out of Boston, Massachusetts, and these guys do some outstanding world-class beers. Uh, wish I could get my hands on them down here. I have to rely on people like Greg and other pe people, subscribers, that, uh, uh, that are willing to go to the brewery or stand in line at the brewery because I don't think their beers are distributed anywhere. Everything they produce is bought up at the brewery. And uh, I've seen horror stories and tales of, of people standing in line for a couple of hours. And, uh, and I've seen other people say they got to walk right in and they bought what they wanted. They do have limitations on what you can buy or how many four-packs, six-packs that you can buy. But uh, they want to have everybody get a chance to get their hands on them instead of one guy with deep pockets coming in and buying ten cases of, of something and buying it up. So, I understand that. I do understand that. Uh, this is a uh, considered a Boston Stout. That's what they're calling it here. Secret Stairs is the name of this Boston Stout. Six and a half percent alcohol by volume. And on the bottom it says 0-1-10-17. So this was done on January 10th of 2017. And the day is the 28th of February. So, uh, we're about four, five, six, about six to seven weeks old on this beer. So, uh, and being a stout, there should be no reason why it should not be good uh, at, at that age. So, uh, it doesn't say anything about being brewed with coffee or any of that on the label. And sometimes they do not put that on there, even if they do brew with that. But a lot of times they'll put some kind of coffee reference in the name or the label or, or something like that. So... Let's see what Justin brings to the table. Once again, Greg, I do appreciate it, sir. You send some awesome beers, my brother. Uh, especially when I see the Treehouse and Trillium beers in your beer my package. I know these are going to be damn tasty. All right, let's get on with this. He did send us in a note with it and said that uh, uh, their signature Boston Stout, not too sweet, definitely not as coffee strong as the PM, PM Dom that he sent me from those guys. So... Uh, I still expect it to be very, very tasty, guys. The PM Dawn was in a was in a bottle. It was uh, probably the one of the only bottles I've had from these guys. I thought everything they'd done was uh, put in the cans, but that one was in a bottle. So let's see what this brings to the table. Commercial description says Secret Stairs is our signature Boston Stout. Bold and balanced, satisfying with substantial body, but not syrupy or sweet. Roasted malt provides a nutty, earthy backdrop to bitter cocoa and add a little hint of caramel. Smooth mouthfeel with drying sensations on the finish. We brew Secret Stairs to highlight the unique physical connection between Summer Street and A Street. We raise a pint of secret stairs to the Fort Pointer, the neighborhood's favorite protagonist. And it does say 6.5% here. Also got a little more information. American Two-Row Barley, Carapils C60, and all those are malts. Roasted Barley, Black Patent Malts, C120. So they've used a lot of different malts on this. Caramunic. And chocolate, so that they've used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different malts on this. So a lot of stuff going on with this. So we should get a whole lot of different uh, uh, a 
aromas and, and, and uh, flavors on this beer. And they say the hops are Columbus on this particular version here. So, let's see what we got. Let's get it open. Oh, yeah. All right. Cuisine, the barbecue, cheese of buttery brie, Aguda, Havarti, Swiss, earthy, camembert, Fontina. Goes well with your chocolate dishes, of course, since it's a stout. And the meat is beef, shellfish, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. And a glass water pint back at night, tumbler mug, sign, sidel. I'm using my favorite snifter. And it says here, not recommended for extended salarings unless the ABV extends the average range. It did pour a very big head. I believe I can get it all in there. Oh, yeah. Full glass. So, get this around there where you can see the label again. I'm getting roasted malt already this far away. Very, very nice. Maybe it's pretty dark, guys. It's pitch black. I uh, don't think it's in the English style for a stout. It is calling it a Boston stout, so whatever that means. Look, good looking beer. It is a pretty dark beer. Didn't pour much of a head, just barely covering the top of the beer. Let's get a nose to it. Wow. The rich roasted malt. I am getting hints of coffee in this beer, guys. It does have a coffee influence. Bittersweet chocolate, molasses, hints of dark fruit, maybe some licorice or tobacco. Wonderful smelling beer. And I expect no less from these guys. Uh, they do some incredible beers. And it seems to me with the PM Dome that I had that was very impressive. And now the Boston Stout here. That smells pretty damn awesome. So I think they got a damn good head brewer there. Knows how to make IPAs, double IPAs, and stouts on top of that. I'm, I'm impressed by how much coffee that I'm getting and, and them not telling me that they put actual coffee in here. Big coffee notes on the nose. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Greg. Absolutely, absolutely getting coffee. I've had coffee beers that didn't have this much coffee influence. And they had coffee added to it, and this one probably didn't. Doesn't say it did, but I'm damn sure getting it. That is absolutely delightful, delicious. With all the malt they've used, the black patent and the caramel, uh, the uh, caramelic, and the uh, caramelic, from what I've used that malt before too, and uh, seems to, to give it a little creamier mouthfeel. Uh, a lot like I had an oats to it, the caramelic does, to me, in my opinion. But with all the different two row and carapils and C60 and roasted barley and black patent. Black Patton, that, the malt used in Black Patton, it, it looks like tar coming out. Uh, I mean, it is pitch black. The grain looks like it's been roasted to the burnt category. It is black as it can be. This works very, very well. They have come up with a recipe here, in my opinion, with all these different malts that they've used. And then the Columbus hops are working extremely well on the spear. The spear is outstandingly impressive. And at 6.5%, very easy drinking. You could probably have this for breakfast on the weekend. And some of you young bucks might have it for breakfast and go to work or during the week. I couldn't do it. Wonderful aroma, guys. It's, it's absolutely awesome. blown away by how much coffee I'm getting on this and they're saying they haven't used any coffee in here. Well, let's sip on it. Let her have a little bit of it. And we're going to go out on the deck and uh, fire up a stogie to go with this and sip on it for a little while. I'll be back. Alright guys, I'm back. Got a little bit left here. It blows me away that this beer has not had any coffee introduced in it. 
and I'm getting that much coffee notes on this beer now that it's even warmed up to room temperature with no coffee being added to it. It just goes to show you, you can get those notes from the different types of malt that you use when you're brewing uh, without adding any coffee whatsoever. Uh, I've had coffee beers, like I said earlier, that's had actually had coffee added to them that doesn't have the coffee notes that this beer has got. So, uh, very, very tasty beer, very wonderful beer, awesome tasting beer. Uh, a lot of ingredients went into making this beer though with all the malts that they've used uh, and all of those have combined very well on this particular beer. Uh, the head brewer there definitely knows what he is or she is doing. I don't know who the head brewer is there but he is doing or they are doing some awesome beers and I see why people stand in line to get their hands on these beers. This is outstanding beer guys. It, it is very, very well done. Alcohol is super well hidden. I'm getting all the notes from the roasted malt uh, and, and all the different malts they've used to get some caramel, toffee, black molasses, licorice, coffee, bittersweet chocolate, hints of dark fruit. Awesome. Awesome beer, guys. This is very, the only way this beer could be any freaking better if they put it in a bourbon barrel. That would kick it up a notch or 12. And that would be an outstanding, world class, galaxy class beer. Final chug. The coffee on, on the nose is just unbelievable. Wow. I'm not going to leave any of it. That is delicious, guys. That is delicious. It's a 9 out of 10 for me on this one. And it is so close to being a 10. And if you say, oh man, this is a 10 beer, you're crazy. I would not argue with that one bit. I'm going to give it to, I'm gonna give it to 9, but I'm giving it a 99. It is punching the door down. It is, it is an AR-15 on the doorknob. Pow, 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 pow. It is right there. And like I said, the only way I could think this would, would be better is to put it in a bourbon barrel for a little while. And that would be out freaking standing, guys. But it's such an easy drinking beer to six and a half percent. I actually think you could drink this beer on the weekend uh, for breakfast. I really do. This would be a great breakfast stout. Even though it's six and a half percent, you gotta realize that. You might have a slight buzz if you're drinking this for breakfast. So, uh, but I could see me doing that. And then I'd have to walk my little fat ass or big fat ass right back to the bedroom and take a nap. <laughs> so, uh, some of you young bucks should probably do that and not have any problem at all. So, excellent beer, guys. Outstanding beer. Uh, over to uh, Beer Advocate. Uh, beer Advocate says 91 in their outstanding range. It is an outstanding beer, guys. And over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer says 98 overall, 99 in the style. Awesome numbers from those guys over there, and I agree 100%. That's where I'm putting it. 99. It's right there. And for our final check-in, we'll run over to Untapped, and they have it at 4.05, which is in their A category. Awesome, guys. A beer all around. Uh, Definitely worth picking up if you can get your hands on it. But like I said, uh, uh, this brewery, most everything is released from the brewery and you have to go there to get it. I don't think it goes to any stores, guys. Uh, and they sell out everything they produce. So maybe one of these days they'll expand the brewery and be able to do a little bit of distribution and let some of the other people that can't get to the brewery or not in that vicinity uh, to get their hands on some of this. But they are awesomely doing some awesome beers. Awesomely doing awesome beers. Oh yeah. So, if you had this one from uh, Trillium, this is their Secret Stairs, which is their Boston Stout. Excellent. Excellent. Get your hands on it if you possibly can. Uh, and these beers are being traded all over the place, guys. Uh, people go in and, and grab what they can allow them to get their hands on and they trade them for other stuff all, uh, around, the, around the world and around the uh, country. So, uh, 
definitely worth trying and there's a lot of people that are clamoring to get their hands on anything from these breweries, uh, Trillium and Treehouse and some of the others. Uh, very nice, very, very nice. I feel so damn lucky that I have subscribers like Greg and Rico and Austin and Brandon and so many others that send me these, uh, Alex and John and Josh, that send me some of these outstanding world-class beers that I can't get my hands on here. So, feel so lucky. Lucky I am. Lucky guy right here. So, if you've had this one, guy, let me know what you think of it. I think it's outstanding. I love this. I would buy this beer here in a heartbeat, in a drop of a hat. So, if you've had it, let me know what you think, guys. And uh, come back tomorrow. Let's dig something out of the fridge. See you then.